The USM is made up of six steps. These steps define a system. Every new or improved technology must use the USM in order to produce a technology. The first step in the USM is the goal. The next step is the criteria. Following that step is our inputs. And our inputs has seven subsystems with it. The following step would be processes and then next we have outputs and finally rounding out the entire system we have our feedback. The goal lets us know what we want to accomplish and what the stated problem is. We record the stated problem and the goal. John is going to show us how the USM is applied to solving our problem. The criteria lets us know what we can and cannot do, what we are allowed to use, how much time we have, etc. This step lets us know what our limits are. It is very important that we pay close attention to this step so we do not plan for something we do not have available to us later on. In the inputs step, we find out what we will have available to us to accomplish our goal. In the development of the new or improved technology, all seven inputs are used and cannot be developed if all seven inputs are not available. The inputs include people, time, money, which is also known as capital, energy, materials, information, and then finally rounding this off we have tools and machines and this is one input. During the processes stage we manage and produce the method of transportation technology. Management includes the organization of inputs to ensure maximum benefit and efficiency. This also includes decision making on product testing data. Some of the questions asked are, does it work or does it not work? And what do we need to do to make it work if it didn't? The production part of our processes <clears throat> creates a lot of feedback for answering questions. How well is the production of the transportation technology operating? Can improvements be made to maximize efficiency? These are just a few of the many questions that need to be answered. Here John has come up with an idea. The output tells us a lot about our solution. The most obvious is, did we achieve our goal of solving the stated problem? If so, then what impacts did this have on us and our environment? <clears throat> Were the impacts positive and benefit all? Or was there a mix of positive and negative impacts? or were all impacts negative? Did the final product match our intended goal or were there any unintended results? These are some of the questions we answer during the during and after the testing process of the technology.
The final step in the USM is feedback. We obtain feedback throughout the entire system. However, most of the feedback occurs in the processing and the output stages. We find out if we need to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new solution to our stated problem. Or just make revisions to our solution. Or our solution worked out great for us. And finally, a quick review of our USM. Our first step is goal, our second step is criteria, and we have input. And remember, we have seven inputs here. And we have processes. We have two processes, outputs, three outputs, and then our feedback. And we obtain our feedback through the entire system.